Welcome to Bitfilms and we are on PayPal payment integration and in this episode we are going to use the checkout and client integration. So again you need to go to developer.paypal.com click on checkout then you will land on this page. So we know about how the process goes on the PayPal payment integration so we are not going to talk about again so next step is the client integration so the checkout is uh, containing two steps one is client integration and one is server integration and let's click on the client integration on the client integration you have lots of steps but the most important part is the code it's given here so why not copy it so let's copy all the codes and then i will explain you each and everything so I will open my VS code and in this VS code I have fresh installation of Laravel but it doesn't matter because we are not going to use much of Laravel for client integration it's just JavaScript here so nothing to worry about Laravel is a PHP framework if you are from other uh, language or other resources so let's open our welcome.blade if you are not familiar with our uh, Laravel uh, so it's just a default page comes with a Laravel so if you open the server the first landing page is this one and this landing page is actually blade file of welcome so what I will do I will delete everything from here and paste the code we get from this website so remember this we need to copy all of these things so how it's going to work so firstly you can see we have a div and we have a PayPal button okay so if I go here now we have changed this page refresh we have a PayPal button simple very easy but how this is going to execute because we are using PayPal checkout.js and by using this you can see this PayPal button has an ID of PayPal hyphen button using this ID we can now do something so whenever user clicks on this button so we will execute the render part then we are setting up the environment so whether it is for testing mode that means the sandbox or we are on live that means on the production mode we will talk about the client ID in a moment but let's continue next so locale exactly the language which you are going to use and some of the styling for this button so what if I say here blue refresh and yeah it's blue now simple enough then move on to the most important part with which is execution of the payment if you have followed me on the last episode I have told you that when the user clicks on this button execution of payment starts this means we are going to send the payment information to PayPal API and on the API these information are get saved and given you a payment ID that payment ID refers to the all information you have sent to the PayPal API so here we are using this so first time the user clicks these information these two informations are going to the server of PayPal API and then it will return with the payment ID so here we are just giving the transaction detail there are other details we will talk about these things later so next is when the payment ID is created from the PayPal API then we are going to authorize the user and after the authorization we execute this code which is just an alert saying that thank you for the purchase so let's see this thing in action and yeah here we have just for refresh and click so you can see we have opened a model but it's saying login well, but why we are going to log in with our uh, original PayPal ID we are just testing so we need a testing ID for that let's just close it so you can see we have a sandbox dot people so it's not real it's the just for testing so let's close it and how we can get a sandbox or testing IDs now you need to log in 
on the PayPal development or developer.paypal.com. So let's log in. And because we are going to log in, we need to use the actual real ID just for login. So let's log in here. And after login, you will land on this kind of page. Again, maybe later these uh, uh, layouts can change, but layouts just going to change, not the content. So you need to go on the REST API app. And here you can create the app. So you can see it says sandbox, demo sandbox client ID. We need the client ID. And by creating the app, we can get the client ID. We have already created that, but for you, I will going to create now. So it says create app. So I will going to give the name of app as tutorial. Then we need to get the sandbox developer account. Again, how we can get the account? We have not created any account. So if you go on the left, you can see sandbox accounts. So let's click here. Then after we will create the uh, app for REST API. So on this sandbox account, if you are logging first time, you will get two account by default. So one is affiliate something and other is buyer something. Uh, so it can be uh, like these two. If you are not getting any account, you can simply create the account. Uh, to create the account, you just need to select the country. So then after you need to set up the personal or business account. Again, you need two account for the testing. One is who is going to sell the merchant account. Another is who is going to buy the buyer account. So two types of account you need to set up. So after giving email password, these things are optional and you can simply create the account. So I have already created that. So I'm not going to create it. And I can tell you here is that the type of account, these two or one, I can say three accounts are uh, we can say business account. That means from this account, we are going to sell something. There are two account, which I call it personal account. From these two account, we are going to purchase things. So that's why it's a personal, personal. And this is personal, but, but it is business. I think this is wrong. We are not going to use this one. Okay, no problem. So you, you can get the idea. So with this, business account we can create our app so my app and credentials let's once again go there create app click on create app and now give the tutorial and I'm going to use let's say seller at bitfumes.com create app and by using that you can see the app is created so now we have a client ID and a client secret. We will use this secret when we are going to use the server integration. But for now, we just need this client ID. So let's copy that and paste it here. We are not going on the production. And you know, to go on the production on PayPal is super, super, super easy, extremely easy. What you need to do, click on live get this client id and boom you are live no changes in code nothing never <laughs> that's very nice so let's get back to the sandbox and you can see we have given the uh, sandbox client id <laughs> okay so let's now try this so because i have already logged in here so what i'm going to do i'm i will open the firefox and let me do one thing once again, I will go to sandbox.paypal.com. It's again going to mimic the original website, original login system. So I'm going to log in here with seller, just like you know, we have a sandbox account. So seller at bitfumes, it has to be bitfumes.com. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the password I have set up when I have created this account. So now we are logged in so it's just the mimic of uh, original account original paypal account when you log in you will get this kind of things so the amount is usd zero 
we have some kind of purchases which is very less on the amount so it's not reflecting here and on the firefox i will go to our server is started yeah so let's go on localhost localhost colon 8000 so we are on this page and if we click on paypal checkout this is going to open and now we can use some of the personal account so if i go here on the accounts you can see we have lots of account so let's use personal one so let's go here and personal one and again password is same for every account one two three four five six seven eight for me and click on the login so we are clicking on the login let's see what's going to happen so yeah one thing or more i can tell you paypal is unpredictable you can get errors every time so i have done it many times but still i have a fear of having some kind of error so it's not giving error that's cool so we are getting the continue part so we have authorized and now it is saying that okay pay now or simply continue so let's click on the continue and after this you can see we are having a alert of thank you for purchase why we are getting this alert because you can see on this on authorize we have given window dot alert of this thing so this means our execution is done our payment is done and we have done successfully the client integration that's super super easy so let's click ok here and go and yeah this is the page for our uh, sandbox account so let's see whether we are getting any payment or not so once again and yeah you can see we have the payment from personal shirvasta 2 and 31 am which is the current time and we are getting the 20 dollar of payment but we are getting 18.92 because paypal gets some percent and behind the scene i have actually changed the uh, amount so that it will reflect here because 0 0.01 is not going to reflect so one thing what i'm going to do or what i'm going to explain is that this all payment system is on javascript and the creating of the payment and execution of the payment and here on authorize we are executing the payment you can see it says payment execute but what if i remove this part and if i remove this part go with the firefox and try to once again uh, give a payment or process the payment just like we have done before what will be the result so we are doing here and let's see uh, continue and it's done here no alert because we have removed the alert but uh, so do we get any payment here let's see refresh here and after some time you can see we are not getting any payment because we have not executed the payment and this execution part we will do on the server end so that we can have the more power like refunding the system and if something bad happens we can tackle that try catch error you know these things and obviously on the on the uh, javascript and it is not more secure than on the server end so we will do these things in the next episode and you know this course took lots of effort to create so i just want your support so support bitfumes just by following on facebook twitter instagram at bitfumes subscribe to this channel and especially share with your friends we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye